Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 5, Lesson 1, What is Light, Part 1. We're going to start by going over the key vocabulary words you'll be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is source, which is a starting place where something comes from. Our second word is energy, which is a supply of power. Our next word is wavelength, which is how long a wave is, the distance from the top of one wave to the top of the next wave. Our next word is vacuum, which means emptiness. Our next word is speed, how fast or slow something moves. Our next word is wave, an amount of energy that moves in a rippling pattern like a wave in water. Our next word is white light, light that is made up of waves with different wavelengths and includes all the colors we can see. And our last word is electricity, energy carried over wires. We are now going to move into today's reading, which comes from your small reader. Chapter one, what is light? Did you know that the sun is the greatest source of light for our planet Earth? But what is light? Why is it so important? Hot gases of the sun give off both light and heat energy. Light carries energy, with the long wavelengths carrying the least and the short wavelengths carrying the most. When you think of something with lots of energy, what comes to mind? Do you think of something fast like a race car? Do you think of something with great force like a very strong wind knocking down a tree? Believe it or not, Light can be many times more energetic than a car or wind. Light travels at 186,000 miles every second in a vacuum. At that speed, light can go around Earth more than seven times every second. No human-made machine can go that fast, not even a jet plane or a rocket. One way that light travels, including light from the sun, is in the form of waves. Scientists can measure how long light waves are. Waves can be different sizes, some are long and some are short. Some light waves are visible and some are invisible. Whether you can see light or not depends on the length of the wave. The longest wavelength of visible light is seen as red and the shortest wavelength is violet. Short wavelengths carry the most energy. The caption to this picture says, one way light from the sun travels is in waves. Waves can be different sizes. Short wavelengths, like those at the far right, carry the most energy. The sun gives off what is called white light. Perhaps you think of the light from the sun as having no color at all. Maybe you think the light from the sun is more yellow in color. It may surprise you to know that the sun's light, white light, is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. White light includes light of different wavelengths, including all the colors we can see. Of all the wavelengths in the sun's light, there is just a little more of the yellow wavelengths than the other colors. This is why the sun looks yellow when we see it against the blue sky. Still, the light from the sun includes all of the other colors and wavelengths. You will learn more about white light, visible light, and colors in a later chapter in this reader. The caption to this image says, white light is a well-balanced mix of different wavelengths. Although the sun is the greatest source of visible light, there are also other sources of light. What else in the sky provides light? The other stars in the night sky provide light, though it is not as bright as the light from the sun during the day. The moon is not a star and does not give off its own light. Can you think of other sources of light? Is there light in your classroom right now? Perhaps it is from the sun shining through the windows. Chances are good though that some of the light in the room may be coming from light bulbs. Like the sun, most light bulbs give off white light. Electric lights are such a part of our everyday life, we don't even think about them unless the electricity goes off. This doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does during a bad storm. When the electricity goes off and we do not have light from light bulbs, people sometimes use other sources of light, like flashlights or candles. Light is important for many reasons. Light and heat energy from the sun warms Earth. Without the light and heat energy from the sun, Earth would be freezing cold. You also learned back in kindergarten that the sun's light is needed for plants to grow. Also, without light, there would be no colors. Can you think of another reason that light is important? Try to imagine a world in which there is no light. No sun, no stars, no candles, and no light bulbs. What would be different? If you just said that it would be dark, you are only partly right. What else would change? Without light, you would not be able to see anything. 
A world without light is almost impossible to imagine. Here's a scene with lots of light. Here's the same scene without any light. You may now move on to Unit 5, Lesson 1, Google Form.